so we're getting our first taste of the Pan American Highway, the highway that runs uh, right down South America. And so starts another episode of our South American adventure. Thank you very much for our Patreons for making these videos possible. It's your support that assists us in making better videos. If you would like to support us, please go to patreon.com forward slash feel us on four wheels and subscribe today. Uh, slowly getting used to the predominant color gray. Um, we're starting to appreciate the beauty of, of the ugliness in, and the beauty of chili. Um, the, the funny air quality and the funny lights are in the air. Um, yeah, we had a great uh, camping, did uh, two wild camps and we camped at a very, very nice uh, uh, campsite right on the beach. Um, saw how the Chileans camp, how they get up quite late in the morning. And, oh, yes, even later than us sometimes. And how they lunch around 3, 4 o'clock. And I then presume they, uh, their supper is even later. Yeah, so slowly our trip is settling in, um, getting um, just to appreciate some of the bird life. We're, we've only seen mainly um, condors, very little small birds. Uh, we're used to the opposite of that, where we see mainly small birds and very little big raptors. Um, seeing some of the farming activity, lots of grapes growing, Fruits and flowers being sold, avos uh, getting sold next to the road, um, yeah, and giving the car a bit of a run to see um, how it uh, performs. So far, the fuel consumption has been a slightly disappointing and quite varied. So, we're not really sure yet what the range of our tank is, but it seems to be around um, 400 kilometers on so Earth. We are yeah, yeah, we're praying for 500, but it looks like it's 400 on a 60 litre tank, um, which means our range will be quite a lot shorter than what we are used to. We're used to food with a thousand uh, kilometer range, but yeah, that's, that's again. That's a double tank as well. Yeah, yeah, that was a double tank, and um, again, it's about adapting, traveling, adapting, and getting used to all the new things in our life for the next. Um, uh, six months to two years. Any words of wisdom, pilot? Uh, yeah, I'm still trying getting used to the way of driving and just there's different highways, sideways, main roads. Uh, driving, driving is fine. Uh, it's just, yeah, Spanish is not that good. You're reading the road it's signs. Science, uh, yeah. We still need to learn what all of them means. We are learning one or two a day, so yeah, we're getting there. And the uh, journey continues. Heading back to Santiago now, tomorrow for some more mechanical work. I would, uh, one part arrived from America, and the parts that I ordered from Saudi Arabia should be arriving soon. And we stopped for a quick lunch at a petrol station. And if you think our car is small, have a look at our neighbors. <laughs> a Renault 4X from 1986. Some Bali expedition.com. Have a look at their um, journey. We have to look over there again because our seatbelt is uh, really yeah, So little distance, so big difference. Yeah, yeah. 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 I just want to quickly get your website on camera. Okay. Yeah. Size is a matter of perspective. Our car looks enormous compared to theirs. Very interesting couple, uh, Austrian Argentinian combination. Um, yeah, please have a look at the website and follow them on you know, Instagram, wherever. Just uh, yeah, see their journey. They are heading from Ushuaia in uh, southern Argentina to um, Alaska and onwards to Austria, they think. They've been to his house in Argentina. Now they want to head to her house in Austria. So 
So we're saying goodbye to Chile today for the time being. We'll definitely be back. We have to be back. Our cross here will stay behind in Santiago. And we're heading through the Andes. So it's our first um, crossing the Andes by road for this trip. Um, testing the, our um, little high ice. Slowly crawling up the mountain. Much greener on this side than our previous experience of the Andes. the Chilean um, immigration and passport control and customs most confusing um, new very brand new uh, setup ever experience and um, we also get a D minus because we didn't complete our um, online declaration yeah so that that we should have done beforehand when we had fast internet so we had to struggle for 45 minutes on shitty internet to do it yeah. it looks like there was a very clean one-stop shop with one um, immigration for one immigration and customs for chile and argentina but now on that side it's only the chilean stuff getting done and none of the uh, boards are accurate and the uh, the, the, where how you drive is extremely confusing. I mean, the, people started asking us for directions after a while because everybody's confused. But now we're heading uh, higher up into the Andes. Um, we have to go, I think, through a tunnel. Next, we'll see. And then when we get to when we get to the other side, we're gonna see uh, where we can find the Argentinian uh, customs and, and um, immigration and do our COVID stuff and then we are in Argentina! Don't cry for me Argentina! <laughs> Just let us in please! Oh, Okay, we are in Argentina. Everything still looks the same. Now let now let's find out how the um, customs and immigration works on this side. I hope it's uh, less confusing. We are spending our first night in Argentina. We we left Santiago this morning, went a bit north, went over the Andes, and now we are somewhere here. So yeah, we, we made it across, but it was a in, very interesting, beautiful drive, winding roads, um, the car performed well for 2.4 litre petrol, uh, no issues. Um, it is using a bit of oil, um, our oil light came on the first time to buy it, or the, sorry, the seller said it uses about a litre every thousand kilometres. Um, we've now added half a litre in 2,000 kilometres about, maybe 1,500. So, but yeah, we did not score very well for experienced border crossers. Um, very, very low scoring. Tell them what went wrong, sweetie. We got an H for passing the border. First, what happened first? We forgot to do our um, online oh, declaration. So exiting Chile was fine, because it's always fine to exit. But then when we entered the Argentina side, everything went well until the third cubicle where you had to show your declaration which you had to do on online which we didn't do so then we were sitting in patchy internet reception trying to complete our online declarations and then when we got to the the second uh, border uh, the, the Argentinian border um, we completed all everything was stamped car got its like temporary import drove off and then 10 kilometers later um, there was a police check and they wanted the completed little slip which was not complete so then we had to turn around and drive back um, get that explain what happened um, and then get that stamped and by the time we got back there was a huge queue with trucks and 
cars and it, there would, we actually went through it when it was already dark. So, not seasoned travelers this time around. Actually, quite disappointing. I think um, <laughs> the airport thing made us quite lazy. Um, but next time, we will remember to do the declaration online and check that everything's been so stamped. And maybe I uh, um, speak better Spanish because that will also help. Yeah. And yeah, and um, although we did a PCR test in um, Santiago, nobody asked for it. Mm. The only thing they were interested in really was our travel insurance and, and the, the pa paperwork for the car. Mm. So yeah, first border crossing um, that didn't require PCR, although we had it because we had uh, different um, we had different opinions. Mm. Um, yeah, so hopefully things will become less COVID paperwork and more just gen normal paperwork. So, yeah, good night, everybody. It, we're camping in a lovely spot. Well, I'll show you that tomorrow morning before we hit the road further into um, Argentina but, but by a little river. The stars are great. The, the skies are much clearer than in, on the other side of the mountain. Um, China blue skies in the day and sparkling stars at night. So, good night. Sleep tight. And a very good morning. Chile, not in Chile, but in Argentina. Let me just show you our house for the night. We arrived here quite late, but we settled in quickly. Um, now, this morning, we're gonna head off to Mendoza. Um, I have to start a new currency, a new road signs, a new everything. But let me show you what it looks from above. And with the first crossing of the Andes behind us, we are ready to start our South American adventure in Ernst. Next time we'll explore a bit more off-road as we look for the more remote parts of South America and put our high edge through its paces. But that's a story for another time, so please remember to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on future adventures. Thank you for our Patreons for making these videos possible.